I think that's working. I had to restart OBS because I forgot to do my pre-stream prep. So, hey LDG, hey Kaz. Today we're going to be going to Duke Nukem land. Um, I will have the game up in a second, but we just gotta, I'm actually showing a old map of it I used to play and I have to find the website for it. Um, it was called Bob's Duke Nukem page, I think. Um, it's not on GeoCities, it's on OO Cities. So it should be, I think this, because GeoCities died maybe. Is this it? Please. Please. Okay. So this is Bob's Duke Nukem page. I don't know what that sidebar is about. What I think about Neo Cities, let's just ignore it. Anyway, there's a map here called, if I can find it. I'm not deciding about Neo Cities. We're going to go to Map Archive. This frame, show me only this frame, please. I don't understand why this has to be so difficult. Why is it so slow? I'm angry. Wait, I can just use the... <laughs> Oops, I can just accidentally... <laughs> What is happening right now? Okay. Let's hide that for a second. Because I just closed Firefox. It's okay. I'll figure this out, maybe. I'm a bit of a boomer. Okay. I swear there will be game. Can I watch the Metropolis video? I probably could, but I don't want to. Okay, I want to capture a window. Here we go. And let's enter the GeoCities link. And let's go visit it in the web archive. What I think about Baphomet? What's that? Yeah, I don't know. Hi, LDG. I just have to quickly show the map that I'm going to play. And because this is from like 99, it's a long time ago. So I think it's called Bizarre. Bizarre by Bob Masters. In the wilderness near Area 51, Duke finds a portal to an alternate universe devoted to pretty much everything that's wired. I wanted to make this level completely different from anything we've ever seen. It includes new artwork too. At the center of the universe is a very unearthly building like the one in those great Escher paintings where gravity is going in three different directions. Inside, the doors lead off to nine other bizarre places. See how many scientific laws are broken. Um, and so this was made, it doesn't say the year. Um, probably, probably a while ago. I played this when I was a kid because Duke Nukem was like the GTA of the day where you would play it even though you weren't supposed to. Okay, let me start Duke Nukem. Why did I play so many games? Hang on a second. 
I have to find the Duke Nukem window. I know you can hear it. Tell me if it's too loud. Where is it? Why can why can I not capture this? Hang on a second. Play games and club penguin? What? Duke, don't do this to me. Okay, let's try just setting a video mode again. It's blank. Yes, I know it's blank. You're blank. Sorry, that was un uncalled for. Um, trash stream. Well, if it's so trash, then how come it can do this? Ah, uh, it's only listed in the window thing as like the terminal output or something. Okay, let's go back. Um, I'll just restart. Tell me if it's too loud, please. This is like regular Duke. He is a very angry man with an unhealthy view towards women and that's a innocent poster at the top. It's a joke about OJ. Where's the bizarre adventure? We'll get into it in a second, but I just want to give some context. This is the Duke Nukem. It was the doom of the, of the Doom games. You know, you ever play Doom? Well, this came after Doom. And uh, it was actually pretty amazing because it's structured completely differently technically. Um, instead of using like a space partitioning tree, it uses like runtime sectors so things can move and be destroyed and are interactive and there's lots of colors and oh it's all kind of cool stuff um, and as you can see it's pretty cool I'm playing it in eduke 32 because the engine was released well the source code was okay This is the intro. Look, there's Duke. And it's the Atomic version. I don't know why it's labeled that. Anyway, let's do a new game. Did, it, did you make your, uh, my what? And I have to re refresh Twitch chat. So, did he give your heart a funny feeling? No. What? Um, anyway, I played this as a kid with the monsters off, so if anything, this is going to be a challenge because the monsters would scare me, and so I would just play it and run around maps in the game. Okay, so let me just get oriented. Uh, we'll play on Let's Rock. Look, it says Bizarre. That's pretty sick. Uh, we immediately uh, dropped into the action. And as you can see, I maybe set the difficulty a bit too high. I need it there. Does Doth, does Doth, does Duke Nukem believe in Unbirth? I don't know what Unbirth is. Is it a band? I actually did try to record me playing this like back in 2010 or something, but the recording software on Linux was just not good enough. Let's use that med kit. Um, I'm also gonna have to make sure I set up this the quick save thing because I'm gonna have to be a bit of a save scum here. Um, we're going to do quick save is just going to be Thank you, Linux, for becoming usable since 2011. Uh, you, you, you wouldn't know. You couldn't know. So it's F6 and F9. 
That's weird. Um, six, nine, six, nine. So that would be six, nine. No. F six. F six to save. Yep. F nine. Oh. Okay, yeah. And uh, that's Duke's foot. Duke likes to kick things. <laughs> Duke likes to be hurt when he falls from high distances. Okay, let's get back to murdering these aliens. Uh, Duke has no qualms with murdering these aliens because they are evil. Duke foot fetish? No, it's not like that. Uh, this is Duke in his prime. Um, this is the one Duke Nukem game that was popular and pretty cool. Um, there were the PlayStation games and the Nintendo 64 games, I think. But this is the this is the one. Um, then there was Duke Nukem Forever, and that aged not great. We got a key card. Check that out. Look, you can walk in blood, and it'll do little footprints. That is technology at its greatest. You know, if I can't, if I can't have that in a video game, then what am I going to have? You feel like this map is a little bad on accessibility? It's okay, people with vision problems didn't exist back in 90... I don't know. Okay, so let's open this up and look, it's a secret mountainside entrance thing. Um, and so this is something I really liked about this engine is that um, it had like, there were so many ways to make cool doors and often you'd have like secrets like this. It's just super cool. Okay, so authorized personnel. Let's go in. Let's murder these. Again, aliens. Unclear what the backstory is here. Usually the aliens are the ones invading Earth, but it seems like we're just going to... Uh, we are going to... Area 51, so it seems like where the intruders here. Um, lots of detail in this game. Look, you got protonic research. You have books that have text on it. Um, all kinds of stuff. Quantum physics for dummies. There's pipe bombs here you could pick up. There's chairs. There's this little monitor thing that if you press it, it opens. Um, compared to Doom, this game was like, well, it is really interactive. Um, It, it, it was really cool. All right, so let's open up this. Um, this is one of the weird things. Um, I'm, there's like a thing you can use in front of another thing you can use and the game is like, okay, you want to open and shut this door. And I'm like, no, I want to press that, that button there. So let's just kick the button instead. No admittance beyond this point. If I wanted to be a little you know, I don't know how old I was when I played this map, but even then I knew that these doors were perhaps a bit too big. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, let's open this up. I also played the game using keyboard when I was a kid. So even with a trackball, I'm still doing pretty good. Oh, this is like Half-Life, you're right. Um, can't see shit. I did actually have to install like a texture pack for this map. So I'm hoping it's working. We'll see in a bit. But uh, now that we're in area 51, we're going to find the hidden button. Can you find it? It's here. And that gives you... At last, I've discovered a portal to an alternate universe. Its laws of science are bizarre and wondrous. 
Oh no, the aliens from my own universe have found me. They're trying to get into this lab. I must prevent them from invading the new universe I've found. I must, and then there's a bloody handprint. So, uh, I want to believe that, I, I don't understand, was this like typed up? Or was it like carved? It would have taken a long time to write this message, I think. And it's not exactly the best way to get away from aliens that are attacking you. Um, okay. So, we have a classic Duke Nukem puzzle. It, it's called uh, the key code or whatever. Um, they're a bit annoying. Um, basically, you have to just brute force these. So... Usually they're in patterns, so let's just use our pistol. One, two. Okay, yeah, so that's how it usually works. You usually just mess around until you have uh, the buttons in a kind of position. There's five buttons here, so that's like two to the power of five possibilities. Uh, hang on a second. So this is gonna be a little weird. Let's try that. Um, so the renderer for Duke Nukem is not exactly great with this level. At least the eDuke renderer because it pushes the engine a bit in some weird ways. So we're just gonna have to switch open to the switch over to the 3D renderer at the moment. Um, or we could try the classic renderer again. I feel like I want to use the classic renderer. Although, it has some, like, it's, it's struggling here. In we go, through the hole. Oh, look at this space area. There's space. There's aliens. There's Duke. He's upside down. He's got sunglasses. Would you go through this portal? Would you go through this nightmare portal? Oh boy, flashing lights. okay where we're almost out of the portal oh sick um this is some platforming <laughs> the platforming in duke nukem is not the best um Um, so you have to be a little bit careful with how you platform in Duke Nukem. Uh, let's go through here. Uh, let me get my gun. We're going to go postal on these aliens for invading our US government, US government stuff. Um, I, get some. yeah, come get some. I do like how there's like a palette swap option for sprites and stuff. I think, I don't know if Doom has that, but like you just get you know, all these cool little free things. We have a fountain. Is the volume okay? Is it too low? Is it too high? All right. The Escher house. Welcome, crossed out. Die, human. The Escher house was built at the center of this universe's three gravitational fields. You will notice that the doors can't be opened unless you're standing upright in the same direction as the door. To open a door facing another way, go into an area marked Exit. This will cause you to enter that section's gravity. 
shifting your direction at 90 degrees. You can then open the doors that have the same up and down as you. This sign's other side will always show you the numbers of the rooms you haven't explored enough. When you've done visiting all the rooms, return here. The cave will then be open for your exit. That's pretty... Cool, I guess. So there are nine rooms. And if we go in here, you can see this pretty sick place. Like, this is a pretty good look here. Like, if you saw that, like you will now, like you are now, do you think that's pretty cool? Of course you do. You don't even need to answer. Okay, so there's door one. There's an exit. We can go through any of the doors, I guess. Uh, which door should we go first? Go through first. Three. All right, hang on a second. So one, eight, four, seven. Ah, uh, see this? I don't like this. This is the stuff that gave me like a nightmare fuel phobia of stretched textures. Like, look at that. We don't like that. Uh, five, three. All right, so we need to kind of exit I guess this direction. Um, oh. What? Um, so is this the level with three? Don't think so. Let's go out this exit. I think this has three on it. Yeah, all right. This is mind breaking you. That's okay. Wow, look, space. That's pretty trippy. Look at that. It's like space outside. Science. Um, so there's a restaurant here. And if we go around here, what? It's non-Euclidean geometry, kind of. It's pretty cool. Um, this is because in Duke Nukem's engine, uh, you can attach like sectors to other sectors and it doesn't matter if they overlap. So it can just kind of go over like this. It's pretty cool. I wonder if this is going to look okay with like the 3D renderer. Hang on a second. Let's just try it. Let's do polymer. I can't remember. Yeah, it might be polymer. Good morning, Johnny. Yeah, it looks about the same. I mean, we could... I don't know if I want to use like an actual 3D renderer. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's just use the 3D renderer so I don't get, like, sick. Alright, so... No females toilet here. Um, please wait to be seated at the toilet. I, I don't know if that's a glitch, but I want to pretend it's not. Would you go to a toilet that requires you to wait to be seated? You gotta use the toilet in Duke Nukem games. That sign is so tall. I don't like it. All right, let's continue on. Now we're in some alien server room. I think that guy shoots rockets. So we gotta be kind of careful about it. Ooh, 
I've got a freeze gun. That's pretty cool. Do they have like night vision? No, I don't. The last night's cam situation. Oh damn, check this out. It's got like space stuff. Duke Nukem was very excited about space. It's all, it also has like a picture from the game's help manual. Which is a little, little strange. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because I think this button here indicates that we've explored this level. So this map doesn't really have a kind of linear progression like that. I think it spawns more. <laughs> Look at that, that's really weird. Like, that's not actually in front of me, that's just behind that level there. Alright, that's okay. Um... We've done level three, I think. I think we should probably go straight to four. Authorized personnel only. No player allowed at level author's private room. Uh, keep out. Um, so level author's private room. This is something that's kind of cool. Oh, first try. This is kind of neat stuff. Um, toys. Cola. That's pretty cool. This level also must be so tall. Spare game parts and textures. That's pretty cool. Um, build docks and build frequently asked questions so build is the engine this game is made on so you would probably expect them to need all that and that's a screenshot of the level editor that's pretty cool and I guess that's their computer there yeah what's up Johnny Play a game with you? What game? Someday? I mean, yeah, I'll play a game with you someday. Oh, I got hit by the cactus. So this looks like spare parts, I guess. I don't know why this level author would keep enemies in his room little suspicious to me. What's in this door? I can't read that text. It's so far away. However will we get over there? I vaguely remember the solution to this, this quote puzzle. You do this. Or is it this? Oh, I guess not. I guess I don't remember it. Um, let's try jumping. I made it. I'm a hero. Note to self, fix the door. Why is everything hurting me here? Why is the door broken? What do I do about this? Oh no. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, trouble. Um. There's noise over here. And pain. There's just pain. These walls hurt. I don't really know. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess we can just run in the wall. Nice. We solved that puzzle. And I think we got a keycard. 
Key cards are pretty good. All right, let's continue on. Um, keep out, I mean it. Okay. Uh, all right. I guess they did mean it. Um, I don't think there's a way to get out of there. I mean, we could try. Maybe if we walk on the text, it's a little strange. Um, maybe if we're super quick, like real fast, we can get in and out. Oh, that wasn't worth it though. All right, well, let's use the health kit and get back to the lobby. Is that what we're calling it? Ah! An ambush. Okay, so we did three, we did four. Probably should do five. That makes sense. Big five, yeah. Uh, I'll have a god stream indeed. Yes, reminiscing of old school graphics. I don't like these upside down enemies. It, uh, it bothers me in a way that upsets the pattern recognition in my brain. They're flipped sprites that walk on the floor. I think so, yeah. Can Duke fit in this hole? I don't think so. Okay, well, let's go back. Don't know what the point of that was. Was there a point? Did I miss something? Bit in the Duke hole? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's really anything over here. So let's continue on. To... Ah! I'm not quite sure what just happened there. Did we do four? I guess we're going to do four now. No, we did four. Uh, I guess we'll... So we did five. We did three, four, five. Uh, I guess we go down here. All right, so three, four, five are done. I guess we'll just... Do one. Oh, trip mines. That solved that issue. Do you think I could jump this one? I'm gonna go for it. Oh, okay, well. I probably need pipe bombs for this. Groovy. Would you say groovy? I feel like that was dated at the time. Do you see which dimension, which dimension do you see? 
I guess this one. <laughs> it causes getting slapped off that map. Sorry, mate. New Zealand gets covered up. Um, yeah, let's go through this door and... Like, am I saying New Zealand isn't a real place? No. I'm just saying, if it was, it would be on a map. New Zealand definitely isn't a real place. You sure about that? Cause claims to be from New Zealand, but maybe he's in Russia and he's just too embarrassed to, to admit it. Have I ever seen cause? I've seen it in the flesh. No, that's a good point. probably should be using a better gun than my pistol. I don't know why these like are so 2D. We have more ammo now though. Um, Sweeney and company sewage experts. Would you work there? Cause is a New Zealand state actor. Are you going to be the Alex Jones of New Zealand. I really don't like these these weird 2D textures that aren't facing me. Hang on a second. All right. So uh, we're gonna go down here. What? It's still happening. What is? Did I not uh, to fix that? What? You live in this make-believe place when on the map so aliens can't find us or we're the aliens and we are hiding. I gotta get that key card. <gasps> no, 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 Duke. Duke, Duke, you can fit through. You can fit through. No, 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 no. I don't have a look command yet. I'm working on a bot. Maybe that'll be my first command. <laughs> The poor Duke. He could have fit if he just breathed in for a second. Yeah, you, you don't. If you aren't sub to to LDG, you should get sub to her. I don't. Is that what you say? Why are these aliens so two dimensional? I don't remember it being that way. Did I break the game? I think I might have broken the game by changing the display while it's running. Let's try this. Maybe this will help. Alright, now we run back and we get out in the nick of time. In the nick of time. He's so fat. Holy shit. Okay, Duke. Uh, holy shit indeed. Okay, so I guess we've got the key card now. We can enter this area. And get genuinely... Okay, I'm going to just quickly... happened to my game. I mean, that's better, I guess. Yeah, see you tonight. Alright, uh... This is a bit of a maze. I don't remember... Th the sprites are not supposed to do this. They're supposed to, like, permanently face you. Alright, I don't want to really go in there. 
Oh, protective boots are on. Okay, I kind of deserved that. Is there any health or something over here? Yeah. No? Okay. I, well... Uh, let's just quickly try restarting the game. Just one second. Um... Okay, now we have to try and trick the game into getting captured by OBS. Let's rock, damn. Let's rock, damn. Um, here's the terminal text of that. Does that help? Oh, I, did I lose my chance of capturing Duke Nukem again? Oh no. What if I add a window of capture again? Okay, that will, that will work. Here we go. Let's load our save. And uh, this seems pretty far back. Okay, that's fine. Let's go over here, grab the health. It's still happening? What? All right, well, that's just gonna happen. Sometimes things happen in Duke Nukem that don't make sense. This is a bizarre universe, I think. Duke Nukem is very cunning towards his enemies. He tells them that he will see them in hell. Um, doesn't sound like something a nice man would say. Just make sure to save. Yep. Um, if anything, it sounds like something a man that plans on going to hell would say. Okay, let's try and... Um, skip the trip mines, I guess. So it's kind of a fun fact, but I originally, I did actually port trip mines from this, like, the concept of trip mines, um, from this game to, uh, another game. Like, I modded in trip mines. Oh no, my protective boots are not working. This is the one thing I did not want to happen. Oh. oh, come on, Duke. Oh, there's a health. There's a health. See you in heck. I'm gonna put the smack dab on your ass. What does that mean? Is Duke Nukem a boomer? He might be a boomer. Come get some. Uh oh. Don't want to be in this situation. He's a huge boomer. Let's say it ain't true. Let's grab the health over here. And I guess go up here. Some more health over here some more stuff over here hmm can I go in there am I supposed to like shoot that thing nope I think we just are supposed to go here grab these boots again and off we go.
do 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 uh, whatever I'll just jump it okay gotcha Do my finger pads ever get itchy? My what? Alright, did we go into two yet? I don't think so. Follow the giant invisible alien. Oh, look! There's footprints from the giant invisible alien. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Are we in like the Windows 98 screen? It seems like something from that. No invisible aliens allowed past here. That is a lawsuit waiting to happen if you ask me. people, aliens, Duke is very good at murder, Jesus Christ, I hate that, that death animation, that guttural sound. I do like this shotgun though. I'm I was kind of sad when Duke Nukem Forever came out that they did not have this shotgun with like the grip. Huh. Would would you go in here? This is like a uh Do I have night vision goggles? Nope. Would I eat Duke Nukem scary? I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna hug the wall. Try and find a weapon I have that has ammo. I guess I'll be using the freeze ray. What is that noise? Ambience? Is this even gonna hurt those? I guess so. This noise, not a fan of it. Is there a button over here? Okay, yeah. That's that noise again. Die, human. That's pretty cool. So we did that level. I guess now we're... I don't know what to do next. Uh, let's check the outside. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Do you think we'll be able to get through it in the next half an hour? I do. Um, so, let's go up here, I guess? No? Uh, it's up here. Ouch. Um, six. 
We did it. Oh, I don't like being teleported away. Oh, it's a vehicle system. I guess we should probably go back here. That's pretty cool. It's like, uh, Duke's hand shooting something. If I was Duke, I'd be like very worried about being in such a surreal situation of seeing my own like hand shooting something on a giant statue. But Duke doesn't seem phased about it. He seems incredibly casual. Um, if not casual, then nonchalant. Alright, let's continue going. I'm the Duke of getting over it? What? Oh, hey, it's the Duke's shotgun there. That's also, in fact, all of this looks pretty scary. Um, there's Duke, Duke's arms and legs in acid. Um, and a sky that just represents, like, neurons, I guess. Don't like this. Doesn't make me feel good. There's a switch labeled 2. Yeah, it is, it is a user-created level from a long time ago. Can you just, can you just die, mate? Just get shot. Good. Hi, Misaki. Okay. So we're just going to continue on and we're back to square one. So I assume that we're going to have to go over here. Is there anything interesting over here? Doesn't look like it. So this is Doom, but better. It's more different. There's more of a focus on... Oh, there's another button here. There's more of a focus of interaction and uh, better looking graphics. I do not like that door noise. You cannot import Doom levels in this. This is a completely different engine. I mean, you can aim up and down in Doom. Can you say something extremely Australian that's intelligible to non-Australians? No. I... I cannot import stuff. I oh, know, in Doom, yeah, you can aim up and down. Doom's are like... Doom's a 3D game. Um, it's just that the level geometry... Uh, is 2D, kind of. I mean, it depends on how you define it, right? Like, 3D, it's a 3D game because, you know, things have like an X and Y and Z coordinate. It's just the renderer um, that is a little strange. Um, don't like whatever happened there. Can I play Daggerfall Unity? What's that? Come get some. You never realized you could aim up and down in Doom? I mean... That's... Fine. Daggerfall recreated in Unity? No. Oh. Open Morrowind. Ah. Check that out.
Uh, I don't know. I'd rather not. I'll give you my stream account. Steam account. I don't know. So this is where. Oops! I used my steroids. I guess we better use them quick to get back home. <laughs> Sonic. Um, <laughs> I jokingly suggested that I play old school RuneScape on stream, but then Coz was like, "I'd play open, I'd play old school RuneScape on stream. Uh, I'd play, I'd play it with you." And Kaz was like, I'd play it with you. So now I'm like, what do I do? I don't have the time to become an old school runescaper. I'll give you my Minecraft account so you don't have to do Microsoft's. I have a Minecraft account. Yeah, I was thinking that we invite you, but like it it'd have to be like a group Iron Man thing. You've never played RuneScape, but you've wanted to. I don't know. See, the thing is, is that I'd only want to, I'd only want to play it for the stream. And, uh, so as soon as, like, the stream is over, I'd be like, okay, that's enough RuneScape for me. I don't do Microsoft's. I don't understand why you should need to have an account to play a video game single player. Um, and I don't understand why I should have to, like, have a Microsoft account to play Minecraft instead of, like, a Minecraft account, okay? DRM. I have a Microsoft account. That's the thing. It's like tied to my real identity. I don't want that to be attached to my Minecraft. I don't want to play Minecraft, okay? What is the point of this level? Oh. Haha, <laughs> almost got me. Now, now, Misaki. Your hate for Microsoft runs deep, but is it rational? Both sides can be bad. Okay, so there's seven. There's nine. I guess we should probably just do nine. Or we could do eight. Let's do that. Alien landing side ahead. Wow, my health is below 70. They forced you to give them a phone number in order to play in order to play a game you legally bought? Oh, but why did you legally buy the game then? You know, it's a contract between a rational individual and uh, a service provider, you know. Will I fix your lava bug in mine test? Maybe. There's a lot of enemies here. You bought my Minecraft before MS bought it? Yeah, I mean, I did too. I think, yeah. Look, doors. You like them doors? Make your language compiled with Lua so you can make mine test mods with it. <sighs> There's not much to do in mine test it or Minecraft, right? It's just boring. Minecraft um, block games are boring, okay? There's nothing to do in them except mod them. And that's boring, because I could be doing other stuff. I don't want to make a nuclear reactor. Let's go in this door and be happy about it, okay? Alright. Maybe bad mistake. What about adding guns to mine test? So we can play that instead of ET Legacy. Uh, it's just like Mine Test and Minecraft have like such bad movement systems. 
Are you playing with my ball mouse thing? Yeah. Okay, medkit. Pause the stream, you're gonna put subtitles on your parents' TV. I can legit pause it if you want me to. See, there's rendering glitches because of this impossible geometry, like... You know, the game engine does not like that. You can look behind that. Um... I, do different renderers help with this? Okay, so let's see. Polymer, polymost, does that help? No. Polymer, does that help? No, that's even worse somehow. This is a false re-implementation of Duke Nukem. It, it kind of... The actual engine isn't open source. Uh, it's source available. But the, it's really friggin' weird. The game developers outsourced the engine developer to a 16-year-old kid. And he did kind of an okay job. But... They then open sourced the game, but then he, he didn't open source the engine. And to this day, he has not open sourced the engine. Um, what did I say? I was talking about you. I was talking about how... Uh, how much I thirst for you. How, how my loins are... Uh, I don't know. Open source the engine. I, like, okay, hmm. See, the thing about... <sighs> I'd play, I'd play, like, Mind Test if we were just doing, like, electronic shit in it. Like, big electronic sandbox, like, maybe we'd make a CPU or a computer network in it or something like that. You know, that's my kind of fun. Like, um, what did I just do? I guess I opened that. My pork loins are juicy. Yeah. Pretty deep cavern. Oh, it goes down further. If there's anything like computer craft for mind test. Do I prefer open computers or computer craft? I don't... I don't know what either of those are. But yes, there is some cool stuff for mind test, including like Lua stuff. Um... Okay, we're gonna die here. Or not. Maybe I'm actually a hero. Um... I mean, okay, so the thing is, is that in order to... Yeah. Uh, Lua interfaces for in-game Minecraft play? What's that mean? Why does my character make sounds like this? Uh, cause he was getting healed, and that's the sound, listen. Oh no, I don't have any health. But if he gets healed, he has he, he, a moan escapes him, a gasp, if you will. Yeah, you can get programmable, programmable computers in Mind Test. See, the thing with Mind Test is that like I'm, I'd be happy to play it creatively, but I gotta have I gotta have friends to do it with, and I gotta have like a goal to work towards. The last time I did it, I was playing it with Kaz, but it was like on a train map or server. Uh, but, like, I just don't know. I'm not a creative person. If anything, I'd be using Mind Test as, like, uh, electronics simulator. 
trains were too confusing and badly documented, yes. So, I don't know. Um, it just, I don't know. Kind of depends on what in mind test. Did the Doom guy make pain sounds and noises like this? I don't think so. Oh no, 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 no. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's that's worse. I was distracted by the spam. Okay. Oh, there was spam in chat. And when I moved back to focus the window, I clicked and the game was like, yeah, you clicked on quick game, right? Time for some healing. Yeah. So, like, is there anything you would actually want to build in Mind Test that would be fun and, uh, I guess not. I mean, the only thing that would really benefit about Mind Test, I suppose, is, like, that people can look at it and kind of understand things. Because my programming streams aren't very, uh, visual. You want to build a train system, but it's hell. Why? No, I mean, like, why do you want to build a train system? Like, you like trains. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could. Make a Minecraft clone on stream? What's j Okay, Jazz. Don't, don't any of you ever suggest that we play Open TTD on stream, because that would actually kill me. Okay? I would die from that game. I, oof. <laughs> it's, so, it's so stressful. I'm not good at it at all, and I just can't get good at it. I'm just not at the level of uh, being good at it. But maybe, you know, maybe we could put our accounts together and form a company or something. Like, I think we did all of them. Let's try and exit this um, area. Yeah. Look, I can move kind of at the same speed of that. All right, so now we're going into the cave. Duke Nukem fell into the cave. It's mine tests areas. Oh, you mean the area system? And what do you mean I got it to work for the trains? I had to have someone like help me and then they'll explaining like, well, this is, you know, we have a block here that we can't get rid of. I don't know, it's just not... I guess I'm just such a nerd that, uh, oh, it's sharks. I don't even know if those sharks are enemies. I can just jump through the window. I don't love Factorio, I haven't played Factorio. I don't want to play Factorio. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I've created a computer that calculates the future. The computer also creates a hologram of the event. Beyond the door to your right is the computer's hologram, predicting what will happen approximately five minutes in the future. Oops. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I broke the, I broke the music. Um, some person griefed the trains anyway. Wait, shift F5 to change? Shift F5 to change. I don't know. Um, oh shit, that's gonna happen in five minutes? That doesn't look good. That's not great for me. Um, I don't... This sucks. That's correct, Duke. This does suck. I don't want to die. I guess I'll just continue on into the future. Rail guns? Oh, it's the Doom guy. <laughs> if there's anything in mind test I'd want to make, it's like some kind of survival space thing where there's like air and whatever. I think there was a mod that had that. You don't know Lua? Pathetic. Come get some. Well, why don't you go play Minecraft then? What's the issue? Oh no. We're in trouble. I think there is space mine test. The computer was right. Was the computer right this time? Almost, it was almost right. Ready for action. That was pretty cool. Missed three secrets. I'm not playing it again. Um, yeah, it is sad. Um, is that today's stream? I know we could dig through and look for some other maps. Um, let's just mute the game real quick. Dark Nukem? What? Uh, let's quickly move that and let's switch over to um, Firefox real quick and let's look at some maps. Um, any cool maps? Return to Castle Wolfenstein? No. So these are these are the maps made 
A lot of them are made by the same author. Um, let's see. None of these look fun. 